In this video, I will show you guys how you can make realistic looking grass for scenes like this or like this in Blender. So first of all, pause the video, click on the first link in the video description and download the free botanic add-on. Make sure you have it as a zip file, not as a folder. Then open up Blender, go to the preferences, go to the add-ons tab, click install, navigate to the folder that contains the zip file, select the zip file, click install add-on. And you can tell that the installation was successful if there is this little message at the bottom here in the middle. All right, now hit shift A, add a plane, tab to edit mode, hit right click subdivide a few times, press O for proportion editing, 1 for vertex select mode, select the vertex with left click, G to move it around and then with the mouse wheel you can increase or decrease the proportional editing radius, make a little bumpy ground type of thing. Then hit N on the keyboard to open up the side panel, click on polygonic, then come down here to the scatter options, hit plus, select the category grass, hit OK and there you go. Then there's a bunch of settings here that you can tweak such as the number or the random seed value to randomize the distribution of the grass on the floor. Instead of choosing a number you can also choose a density, so a a number per square meter and you can click on recalculate density pretty self-explanatory stuff just play around with the settings until you like it one thing that's pretty cool is that you can select the plane go to weight paint mode create a paint map with those tools right here then you can go to this paint section right here and choose the group as the density input and now we can even go to weight pen mode and change the density of the grass particles live as we're going which is pretty cool i think and so with this option you can obviously have a lot of fun but as a quick reminder here it's very important to understand that you can only draw weight maps when you have geometry so when you have subdivided your plane once you've done that choose a perspective that you like go view align view align active camera to view and another camera will be positioned so that it looks at the scene from the same perspective which is a very handy trick to set up the perspective of your camera open up a shader editor go from object to world, hit shift A, environment texture, load up an HDRI. In the description, I've put five websites where you can get free HDRIs for your scenes. Plug the color from the environment texture into the color input for the background. Keep the strength at one. And then afterwards, you can also add some flowers if you want to, to make it look more interesting. I'm just adding some daisies here. Now I want to put a tree back there. So I'm going to select the object, hit tab for edit mode, one for vertex select mode, left click on a vertex where I want a tree to be planted. Then hit shift S2 to open the snapping menu and then move the the cursor to your selection so to the position of the vertex that you have selected and the cool thing about that is that now everything that we add will be added exactly at the spot where the cursor is. and so now if you come over here and click on spawn asset and choose a tree of our liking the tree will be spawned where we have put the cursor so that's pretty cool here's a cool little trick go to the settings activate the import images as planes add-on download some transparent pngs of people or birds and hit shift a image images as planes get them into your scene you can also get an image of a city for the background which I would then also use as an emission plane so that it emits some light. So the cool thing about the images as planes add-on is that it creates a plane with the correct aspect ratio, puts the texture on there and also plugs the alpha output of the transparent PNG into the alpha input for the principal BSDF. And all of these things you would have to do manually if you wouldn't have the add-on. So pretty cool add-on. I'm going to set the resolution to 3840 by 2160, which is 4K. I'm going to change the file form into PNG. I'm going to the view layer properties. I'm enabling the denoising data. Then I'm going to a composite window, click use notes, so get a denoise node, connect everything accordingly, hit render image and there we go. And then we can save that render result by going to image, save as, and then you can take that into the photo editing software of your choice, put some sun flares on it, some color correction, whatever, and then it can look like this, which I think is pretty cool. So this is how you can do realistic grass in Blender. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.